Hello and welcome back to the Blade of Akaya channel and we have another unboxing video. Oh, I was tooled up. <laughs> tooled up again, we're going to get inside the box. So, what is it today? Well, you might be remembering that I purchased a warthog recently and I said I was going to get some mounts. This should be the mount. So the, the mounts have come in from uh, Monster Tech DE. So hopefully it's all in here. So that's one of the base plates. And there is another base plate, which I shall talk about in a minute. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Just brings it home how big the accelerator part of the Warthog Hotas system is, because that's the plate it's got to sit on. <laughs> so yeah, we've got that um, and we've got that. So why have I got another one of these? Well, the, pl the long-term plan is that I'm going to get another Warthog and make it left uh, a left hooker, basically. And when I do that, I'll need to mount it on one of these. And then I have a dual stick set up. But for now, I'm going to stick with the accelerator part of it. Who knows? I might not even go dual stick just yet. Uh, I just have to see how it goes, really. And these are <laughs> the beefy clamps that, that these need to sit on, <laughs> like so. That is truly some mega kit. Anyway, um, so I've got to set about now putting these together, these two hefty bits of, <laughs> bits of kit, um, I hope. It's not to the detriment of... <laughs> Overclockers. You've got some competition from Monster Tech DE. <laughs> A little pack of Haribo. <laughs> Gold Baron. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so these are the, these, these are the fixings for all the stuff so the clamps use these kind of really hefty screws um, and there are some end plates for for the clamps themselves I guess maybe to go in there uh, just to kind of finish it off a bit nicer anyway so in the next part of the video you're gonna see everything set up okay so I have the two mounts attached to my desk um, it probably needs a little bit of tweaking here and there, but essentially it's all in. And as you can see, they are quite monstrous. <laughs> the company's called Monster Tech for no, re you know, for for good reason. Um, you have to excuse the uh, messiness here. That's my um, my Thrustmaster 458 Italia kit. It's only a cheapy wheel, but uh, it works, so I keep it. Uh, yeah, so the process to get this in, a little bit fiddly. fiddly. I mean, it's largely straightforward, but uh, obviously compared to buying something off the shelf and just using it, it's, it's obviously a little bit more fiddly. But I got there in the end. You have to take the massive um, base plate off of the actual warthog stick in order to mount it on this huge bracket here um, now obviously this needs pulling back quite far in order to facilitate the movement of the stick so you've got enough room to move it all around uh, I think one drawback I've got is if I get a bit overzealous 
you can see my screens move. Um, I don't have the optimum setup here. I mean, I've got a microphone sat right there on the desk. Um, I don't really want it there. I want it on a, an arm that kind of comes over the top, really. Um, anyway, that's the stick on. Um, the only other issue I've got is because this desk has these funny tiers on it, I've had to mount it on this lower tier instead of the higher tier. Now, ideally, I want it there anyway because I don't want this big mouse pad to be lifted up by the top of the bracket. So, for me, it kind of works down there. But my problem is, is that the, the kit doesn't come with the 6, 7 or 8 mil um, Allen key that you need to get into here and make the necessary adjustment. I just don't have that. Um, so I'm now stuck with this at the lowest or the setting that it came with out of the box and I've got the same issue over here with this down here. Um, so ideally for both I need them up here so that I can reach them a bit easier but that said if I move in and um, we can see from here that actually it's you know, it, even all the way down there, it's actually not too bad. I'm actually quite comfortable um, controlling it from there. Um, it's just not ideal. I think, you know, about three inches higher each side, I think, would make the situation much better. Well, as you can see, I now have the units adjusted. I had to pop to uh, B&Q and uh, get a complete Allen key set uh, and thankfully I did get a complete set because um, the the bolts inside there are not 6mm they're like 7 and 30 like 32 into 7 I don't even know how you say that in fractions anymore um, <laughs> but basically it's, a, it's an imperial setting which is kind of odd given that this has come from Germany and I believe the metric over there so I'm not sure on that um, I haven't been able to get the end cap on properly yet I need to get um, kind of a rubber hammer or something just to get that on there but I need to take it off the desk in order to do it but these are now adjusted nicely uh, so that you know I don't have to reach down too too low to get to them um, so now it's just a case of getting set up in Star Citizen now. Begin. Okay, so I've now joined into Vandal Swarm um, and I'm at the controls. Now, I think one thing is very apparent for me uh, since I've had a kind of crack at this already. Um, is that, yeah, with the mouse I am far better flare drop proximity but alert point kind of getting fire. used to proximity alert um Dead. head shield <laughs> under fire yeah it's it's just way more tricky doing it with this setup right now <laughs> i can barely concentrate and i've just realized i've got Flare drop. Overhead shield under fire. Overhead shield under right. fire. Shields recharging. Shields this recharging. this guy on my tail. My wingmen are doing absolutely jack all. I've got two lots of weapons on this, but I need to remember what my... Ah, there it is. What my gimbal key is. The gimbal button. So, yeah, it's kind of tricky keeping on target now um, and you know getting my yaw and strafe right is a bit tricky as well because my yaw button is it's effectively a button not an axis so yeah it's not ideal at the moment but I, you know I need to play with it and get used to it and then maybe make some changes and get used to that it's going to take a, a long long time I think before I'm really there Shield. 
unfortunately it's taken so long just to take down one. We're just getting used to all the controls. Yeah, and then I get kill stolen. Jesus. But you know, it is it is a new experience. Um, it is in one way it is better but in the in the other way it's not because with mouse and keyboard I could be in here and just decimate everything um, so you know it is a little bit concerning because it's like well why did I why did I get all the kit um, to be worse basically but it's gonna take a little bit of time I think and I need to give it that time Get on this guy. And this is the problem, is being able to centre up on someone. I'm using a sabre at the moment because uh, the Hornet, there's something wrong with it at the moment, it seems. The M4As that come out, um, that are on the default loadout, they don't work. Oh, we got a kill at least. <laughs> Zero hostile contacts. Um, and this is quite risk takey uh, I have to say. Uh, I'm not Morning. used to it. The there stick is is very about. hard to pull around, and I think not having a twist is really bad on this stick. Um, I have to, I have to say it. I mean, I've got some pedals. I might try using them at some point. Warning: You are approaching simulation boundary. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to take little steps. I need to get used to using the throttle and using roll and uh, pitch and, you know, and putting the, uh, you know, I've got the yaw on this button at the moment, so it's a bit harsh. I could do with an axis, really, but without twist, it's just a nightmare. Oh, come on, really? Proximity alert. Head. So na negotiating things like the asteroids and stuff, that, it kind of works. It kind of works okay, but it's just targeting that I'm, I'm really struggling with. Proximity alert. Stop. Shields up. Take this one out. See, with the mouse, I'm able to easily respond to the direction changes in the target. But with this setup, I'm not finding that so easy. Proximity alert. Ah. Target very well. <laughs> well, I didn't get half of those kills to be honest, or more than half. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, so yeah, I, I've got a lot of um, get. Right, shut up! I'm talking. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of getting used to this stick setup. Um, you know, uh, it's going to take a long time, I think, getting used to the different controls. Um, I'm not sure why the strafe wasn't working then. It's supposed to be an axis, but it just doesn't seem to be working very well right now. Um, but I'll figure it out. Uh, it's just the the biggest concern for me right now is with a mouse, it's, it just feels so natural. Um, and with this, it just feels just completely alien right now. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next episode of Star Citizen. Thanks very much for watching and bye bye for now. Right, okay, run. What? Oh, what? The dog is savage. What? Is there any need for that?
He's a boy. 